What's going on everyone? Thanks for checking out this video. In this one I have you guys probably one of the biggest secrets in the Fallout 4 Far Harbor DLC. Now I'm not for sure if this is the biggest, but it's definitely one of the biggest secrets in the Far Harbor DLC. So on that note, if you could, please take a little bit of your time and leave a like if you end up enjoying this. It's about to take a little bit of time to put together. Anyways, what you want to do is head over down here in the Cranberry area. Where you want to start at is right around this area. And you are warned there will be some enemies here, so make sure you're on the watch for them. There will be some wolves that you'll encounter, gulpers, Myler kings. Well, actually you only encounter one Myler king and a bear. I don't know, there will be plenty of enemies that you will encounter. So, anyways, once you're here, head up inside this building and go up the stairs and you'll actually find a map on this shelf. And, well, basically this little secret is surrounded by a little girl and her family. And, well, this little girl drew this map and this basically shows all the power generators that you're going to need to start up to actually get inside their shelter that they used. So the first generator that you're going to want to uh, go check out is actually right behind this building over here. Once again, you will encounter some enemies, but all you got to do is head up toward the circuit board and find a way to fix it. There's multiple ways to fix it, and you can just, you know, bang on it and whatnot, and that'll end up fixing it. You don't have to actually have these materials to be able to make it work. Anyways, once you got it fixed, then you want to pull the lever up, and you're going to have to do the same with the other three generators that you're going to um, power up. And also a little side note, keep in mind they are numbered, but you're not going to have to you know, power them up in no specific order. So for the next generator, I forgot to mention real quick, how you even find these generators is by following the wires on the power lines and they actually lead you to each generator. So just follow the power line and once you're crossing the bridge over here, you can stop and activate this one, but I passed this one right up and went to number three. Just because, well, I just accidentally passed it up and I was like, oh, what the heck? Uh, I'm confused. Where is the other generator? Then I follow the wire back and I end up finding the other one. But anyways, just head over here. You'll encounter a bear. And once you have taken out the bear, fix the circuits to make it work, you know. Do whatever you need. I just decided to actually repair the pipe. And then pull up the lever to make it start running. Oh, and real quick, you can actually find some miscellaneous items giving a little bit of a backstory about the secrets and where we're going to actually gather this loot at. If you head over here, there's actually a journal left by Eliza. I believe that's how her name's pronounced. I could have butchered her name, but um, basically she is describing Grandpa Pat to be acting strange. And, well, yeah, she doesn't really want him to move in. So my guess is, I mean, I, I don't know if this is actual factual, but uh, Grandpa Pat is actually turning into a ghoul. Now, this will make more sense when we get further into this secret, but I'm not going to spoil anything yet, but... Anyways, just backtrack yourself back toward the bridge where you came from. Hopefully you crossed that bridge to get over toward here. And you will notice that the power line is connected to the water tower. Just, you know, head down here and you'll actually see the next generator. This generator is labeled 1, as you can see. But next part of Eliza's journal, I believe that's how her name's pronounced once again. I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. Anyways, as you guys can see, she's basically describing Grandpa Pat to be always angry looking in this journal. These are only two journals that I found. There could be more. There probably is, since there are three generators. My guess is there's probably three journals. But this is enough information to kind of pinpoint what's going on here. My guess is that Grandpa Pat moved in with the family and ended up turning everybody into a ghoul, infecting everybody once he finally transformed into you know, a ghoul. And the reason why I'm saying that is, well, if you head over toward here, also be careful, there is a gulper that's going to come out of nowhere when you're heading in this direction. But while you're heading over toward here, this is where they were holding out at. As you will notice, the power line is connected to this door. You just have to activate all three generators to be able to open this door. And once you open this door, out comes all the family attacking you, and they are all turned into ghouls. Besides Eliza, I don't see her here. It's strange. But anyways, after you take out all of these ghouls, however you take them all out, you will notice after you're scavenging around in here, you will find another note basically telling Nathan to bring all the supplies to this holdout, which I believe Nathan is one of Eliza's brothers just because there's actually a family portrait in here as well. And it says, you know, draw a picture of your family. I'm guessing Eliza drew this picture. And as you can see, there's a dad, mom, Eliza there, and two other guys and I believe those guys are brothers 
Hence, you know, in that note, it said, don't make your brother do it. So I'm guessing there's two sons and one daughter. And as you can see, if you look closely at this family portrait, there's someone that is crossed out and there's a skull drawn next to that person, which I believe that's Grandpa Pat. I believe he ended up passing away. I mean, you can kind of see like radiation or something dripping down his shirt too. I don't know exactly what that is. That could be tears. I don't know. But anyways, you can also see one of the brothers, it looks like, uh, looking like he's sick. It shows some squigglies around him and his eyes look funky. So I'm guessing that's why the note was saying don't make your brother do it because my guess is he was sick around this time. Probably infected by Grandpa Pat before he was scratched out of the picture. And uh, if you look closely in the middle of this family portrait, you will notice some hearts drawn around this man and woman in the middle, which I believe those are the lovebirds that created this slightly large family, Eliza and her two brothers. <laughs> I mean, I'm no Sherlock Holmes. What I'm saying is could be completely off. But yeah, I'm just trying to give you guys a little backstory on this secret. This is one of the biggest secrets in Far Harbor DLC. So I might as well just share as much information as I think about this secret as I can. Anywho, that's enough about you know, this area and all that depressing mumbo jumbo. From here, you then want to head out and head on over to the shed, which that's located right here on the map. Inside this supply shed is where all the goodies are at, where they didn't get a chance to bring back to the holdout. I mean, I know, it's kind of sad, but still, at least you get all of these goodies, and there is just an insane amount of items here. Like, I've never seen this many items in one place in Fallout 4. But, uh, be careful, when you come here, there will be a Mylar King, so you are warned about that. Anywho, once the Mylar King is taken out, just head on inside this shed by unlocking it with the supply shed key, which you get from the holdout area in that box where the note was. And like I said before, there is just an insane amount of items. Like, look at all these freaking items just on these shelves ready to be picked up. I know a lot of you people that love scavenging are just absolutely drooling over picking this stuff up. Like, oh my gosh, gimme, 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 gimme. I know I was when I first came in here. I was like, oh yes, I'm taking all of this. And Well, let's just say I'm going to have to take a few trips to get all this because I don't have the pack mule skill, unfortunately. But still, there's tons of items here and I will be making the trips to get all these items. I mean, even inside this chest, there's plenty of little goodies here. I have to say, this is freaking awesome that they added this in. I love this little secret. I love little secrets like this in Fallout 4. It's one of my favorite things about Fallout 4, exploring around and finding secrets like this that involve clues and where you kind of unlock an area where you don't necessarily know how to unlock at first. But now, since you guys have watched this, hopefully this video guide comes in handy for you all and this gets you guys all these great items. But yeah, I guess that's our wrapping up this video, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed. I'm not going to sit here and beg you guys to leave a like, but it'll be much appreciated if you did enjoy this to leave a like. Maybe share this too. I mean, it's definitely greatly appreciated. Also, I know I'm saying a lot here at the end of this video, but it'd be nice to see you guys follow my Twitter. I don't have that much traffic on my Twitter, and I'm trying to promote it more. So, yeah, might as well just mention this at the end of the video. If you could, try following my Twitter. I'll leave a link in the description to my Twitter, and, you know, just go there and follow it. That'll be much appreciated. Don't have that many followers on there. So it'd be nice to see some more traffic on there. But yeah, this has been a video by your rifle. Hopefully you guys once again enjoyed it. And expect a lot more Far Harbor content like this. You know, secrets, unique weapons, that sort of thing. But yeah, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching everyone and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out.